my life So magnificent, yeah Thank some friends Most I jump Pass the far You see No matter how The fight against the youth They just keep on striving Rastafora is the truth Nothing they can do to stop the love That is the root and I sleep Come go to my food No matter how of Africa has been governed since 1930 by Haile Selassie, whom history records as being a direct descendant of King Solomon and the Queen of Sheba. Shalom Rastafari, Shana Tov, Shana Tov, to a good year, Wendemoch, I now with our joke. I and I friends, I and I brothers and sisters and mothers and the King of Kings and the Hamushi Yeshua Adonai. Happy good year, a good happy year, a to- uh, uh, Shana Tov, Tov for all faithful and true Ethiopian Hebrews, redeemed Ethiopian Hebrew Israelite tribe nation. This is a message right here for the. Rosh Hashanah, right? Rosh Hashanah, or more properly, Ras, Ras Ha Sana, right? Ras Ha Sana Ha Shana, the head of the new year, and um, Rosh Hashanah or Ras Ha Sana Ha Shana, the Ras, Rosh Ras. It begins Wednesday, September twenty fourth this year in twenty. 14 at sundown so we want to record this and, and y'all willing get this up on the rts the rastafari sabbatical and those who can link it or share it or tweet it out or repost it please feel free um according to the traditional judah yehuda ish and what they want to call so-called jewish but we know the lion of the tribe of judah to be the root and the offspring of great King David, but according to the traditional Yehuda-ish or Judah-ish thinking, this particular holy day or holiday, it commemorates the creation of humanity, of the humanity by Ha Elohim, Baruch, Baruch, Baruch Hu. The the um, traditional teaching, right? The college teaching. Or the college level of study when you judiciously, judiciously study the word they call it the Mishnah but this all comes from our um, ancient black Hebrew Ethiopian Hebrew roots when you study these things or if it's study to show I and I self approve and that's the earlier part of the Timharit or what they call in the Hebrew the Talmud now the Talmud just means teaching but it's who's teaching give I and I the teaching of his majesty so this refers to um, Rosh or Ras Hashana as the day of judgment. So there's a link within the scripture, right, to the Rosh Hashana, which is the Yom uh, Teruah, right, or the day of trumpets, right, the day of trumpets. Scripturally speaking, we have like the silver trumpets, but in this um, season and dispensation, the shofar or the ram's horn is used so the reference to Ras Hashanah as being the day of judgment or Yom Hadin in the Hebrew is very very interesting since all of creation all of the iration owes allegiance to the blameless creator and is accountable to him to even the Elohim Adamawi Haila Salase. Now, the name Elohim is revealed in Genesis 1 and 1 in Barashit or Barasit. But they say Barashit, right? But Barasit is the more proper pointing. So we're going to go through some of the real biblical Hebrew, right? And ancient Shemitic pointing of these particular names. They say Rosh Hashanah, but if you study this, Resh Aleph Shin. 
or Reish Aleif Sin, which would be Ras, the head, right? So we say Rosh, right? Or we say Ras, but this is referring to the head. Now the name Elohim found in the in the head, right? In the head, Berasit or Genesis 1 and 1, it bespeaks of Elohim as the blameless creator and the judge of the universe. So we have the name yod Hey weh or Yahweh, right? On the other hand, it reveals Ha-Elohim's compassion. So we have the creative name of the name of the creator, Elohim, and the name of the covenant God and the compassionate Yahweh, he who be who he be as the one who intimately relates to humanity and he breathes into us into I and I the breath of life the breath of life Genesis 2 and 4 now furthermore right in the lion of the tribe of Judah right uh, trod on Ras Hashanah or they say Rosh Hashanah I and I stand before Ha Elohim as right we stand before him He's our personal creator. He's the blameless creator. He is the judge. Right? He is the judge. Here comes the judge. Here comes the judge. Many who are in the Messiah mind or the mind of Yeshua HaMoshiach. Some will say messianic or not. But we are main that the sound of the shofar. Right? The sound of the ram's horn on Ras Hashanah, Rosh Hashanah, is a symbol of the catching away, or what ones will call the rapture of the true followers or the elect of Moshiach, right? The elect of Christ, the elect of Christ the King, or the Negus Mashi, Christ in his kingly character. So let's just listen to the sound, right? of the shofar. And once again, uh, a good year to a good year. Tena Yistelin. Shalom Rastelin.